Hello greetings, I hope you are very well in your pet too, in this video we will talk about the following, 8 types of tumors, cancer, in dogs and affected breeds, let's start. A cancerous tumor is one of the most devastating diagnoses a veterinarian will give a dog. That's because cancer is extremely common in dogs and one of the leading causes of death. Signs of cancerous tumors often include skin wounds that don't heal or unexplained weight loss. That said, many dogs have bumps and bumps that are completely benign. If you notice something new, take your dog to the vet, the earlier it is diagnosed, the easier it is to treat. Not all tumors in dogs are cancerous, but all should be evaluated by your veterinarian. We are going to learn about 8 common and notable types of tumors in dogs, and the breeds that are most susceptible. 1. Mast Cell Tumors They are one of the most common canine skin types. These grow quickly and are generally red and very itchy. That's because the bumps contain a chemical called histamine, one of the substances responsible for the itchiness associated with allergies. Histamine tells the stomach to make more acid, so dogs with these tumors are also at risk for gastrointestinal ulcers. Short-faced dogs, including boxers, pugs, and French bulldogs, are at increased risk of developing mast cell tumors. These breeds develop less aggressive tumors, while Chinese Sharpays are prone to very aggressive mast cell tumors. 2. Lipomas This benign fatty tumor is very common and indicates that many different races are prone to developing them. Lipomas generally feel like a relatively soft mass that can move under a dog's skin. They vary in size and, most of the time, they are not a serious problem. 3. Osteosarcoma Large and giant breeds such as Greyhounds and Great Danes are the most susceptible to this bone cancer that often affects a dog's legs. Most of the dogs that are finally diagnosed with this come because they are limping it is not that common for a bone in the spine to be affected. 4. Histiocytoma These tumors develop through the immune system and are most common in dogs 3 years and younger and in breeds that include English Bulldogs, Scottish Terriers, Greyhounds, Boxers, Boston Terriers, and Chinese Sharpays. These tumors are usually benign and do not spread to other parts of the body, they usually return on their own in 2 to 3 months, but removal may be recommended. Histiocytomas are often called button tumors, because they are often small, usually less than an inch, red, raised, and hairless. 5. Hemangiosarcoma This blood vessel cancer is most often found in the spleen, because it has a large blood supply. If it breaks, the dog's gums will turn pale, it will be difficult for him to breathe and he will have trouble getting up. Hemangiosarcomas can also develop in a dog's heart and skin. 6. Melanoma This is a form of pigmented skin cell cancer in dogs and, like melanoma in people, these tumors are usually black or dark brown in color. Many skin masses are benign, but those found in the mouth and on the foot can be very aggressive. In the case of the latter, the toe is usually swollen and can be painful. After an x-ray, it can be determined that the affected finger must be amputated to completely remove the cancerous mass. The risks of this specific type of melanoma don't end there. It can metastasize to places like the lymph nodes in the area in the lungs, liver, or other internal organs. 7. Lymphoma Lethargy, decreased appetite, and coughing can accompany swollen lymph nodes in dogs of all breeds with this type of cancer although some dogs initially show few symptoms other than swollen lymph nodes. This swelling is most noticeable under the jaw, in front of the shoulders, and behind the knees. 8. Papilloma These benign tumors are warts in dogs and can be uncomfortable and troublesome. When this infection develops, you typically see multiple, pale, hard, cauliflower-like warts on the lips, inside the mouth, and around the eyes. Warts can be painful and severe infections can make chewing and swallowing difficult. The papillomas will disappear after a few weeks, sometimes months, although if they are causing significant problems for the dog in question, they can and should be removed by a veterinarian. These benign tumors are caused by a virus, called papillomavirus, that is spread by direct contact with an infected dog or with contaminated objects such as bedding or toys. The incubation period often lasts for months, so by the time symptoms do manifest, they may have already spread to other dogs in the home. Lumps and bumps can indicate cancer in pets. But there are other symptoms to watch out for. Develops your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate bad behavior and create the obedient, well-behaved pet of your dreams. Hit the instant access button below right now and start your journey to having an amazing obedient, highly intelligent dog today. 
do not forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, and share the video. You are very well, thank you.